Greetings everyone, and Grade here of another H Powers 4 replay. Spawn on the top left side as the blue English, we have War TX. Spawn on the bottom right side as the yellow Holy Roman Empire with Liquid Bimu. Of course, got the mining camp going on down. Over here, do got the blue scout pushing foot forward. Ah, we got a Vanguard Man at Arms leading the charge. Soon. There we go. Now it's leading charge now. Wait. Did the English spearmen start out? Wait, can he not? Wait, oh, so the English can't get to H1 spearmen? Huh. I thought all civilizations could get H1 spearmen. And they can H1 men at arms, just not H1 spearmen. Weird. I did not know that. Well, either way, the Vanguard man at arms is charging on forward. Does receive some hits there. Of course, the Holy Realm Empire does have the Greylet here for healing. Let's see, did he get his 200 gold? He just got his 200 gold there. And got two mana arms. Now, I'll pull out on the field. Mana arms are relatively expensive at uh, 120. And now, of course, got the Akin Chapel. The more I've been playing the game, the more and more I believe that this wonder is just overpowered as hell. 40% gather rate around you? It is so powerful. Because it can make all your initial resources collect 40% faster. There's nothing that, and since I only play Mongols, there's nothing the Mongols yes, can't sir. compete with that. And of course, the Akin Chapel is almost the Holy Field. Also, the other wonder that the Holy Roman Empire can get is also incredibly powerful. It is that unique army that allows you to research uh, blacksmith upgrades cheaper and faster at 40% less. It makes your early mana arm rushes incredibly powerful because not many factions can deal with the mana arms both in Dark Age and in Feudal Age because they have a lot of armor and with that one you can get some uh, you can also get adaptive response if your opponent's going for one counter say archer just get more pierce armor. At this point in time the archer has 5 damage and these mana arms have Three pierce armor, and so you can quickly okay, say get your pierce armor upgrade quickly, research uh, for cheaper, and then your mana arms will take one damage each. Master, super question: Is it Vanguard or early mana arms? Do they both have three pierce armor, or they both have four? Or do early mana arms get four pierce armor? I can't really remember off my head. I do now have this scout there pushing forward. We're seeing a bit of damage there. While archers now making their advance, the mana arms are still going to be very useful versus archers. They may, of course, not be able to hit them at range, but they have enough armor to easily close on the archers, no problem. And he could just see this archer here. He can pick it off as well. Very good. They do have some longbowmen flying field. Longbowmen do outperform archers. They do have one extra damage and range. The scout here does push the force bow. The uh, villagers can provide their own bow damage on in, and other mana arms just going around, slight slicing up these archers. Oh, looks like that seven longbowmen now pulled on the field, as well as two men at arms. It's in a incredibly hard composition to deal with early on. Horsemen still lose out on a 1v1 versus early men at arms. Do you know how town center being pulled on the field? And now these two scouts from engaging scouts do bonus damage versus other scouts. And the town center, extra town center is built, so he does have a lot of coverage for his farms around the Akin Chapel. He could have put the Akin Chapel a little bit farther forward, honestly. It, there's not a lot of room here to pull out, say, some additional farms. But right now he has great farm coverage with good uh, protection for the villagers with two town centers in this region. And as well has a really high collection rate with these villagers collecting wood. Extra Kibera Cassie as well, 40% more resources? That's actually really yeah. powerful. Do not have Blue pushing me forward with a couple of villagers. He's maybe eyeing for some board towers. Yep, there is a tower now. He's just trying to provide the network of castles buff. Uh, aura, we do have, you can see the radius right here. Man Arm still pose a massive threat to town center. 
so they can potentially, if they get their one pierce armor research, they won't stay one damage per arrow from the town center. So man, the mana arms do pose a threat to the town center. We've got the archers pushing before, as well as now a pair of barracks being pulled on out. I've got another of the longbowmen here. We've got archers now pushing their way out. Which will force the longbowmen away, maybe. Longbowmen and mana arms are making their advance. There's still currently three mana arms pull on the field, a fourth one on the way. He's got a pair of barracks here. Looks like he's going for his own mana arms. These are, are they early mana arms or? Yeah, they are early mana arms. So we're going to have early mana arms pull on both sides. And that's my answer to that question. The early mana arms have three pierce armor. Oh, here he does spot the tower right there. He's going to uh, plunk it down with the arrows and a couple torches. The torches will do as much work as those arrows. Longbowman's now trying to get some damage onto this barracks. Of course, he has access to emergency repairs. That's inside the town center. The town center does the arrows. Oh, I can't read it. Read it now. This is the garrison. The town center, if this is the primary bow, does have the same range. It has eight tower range. The longbowmen do have seven tower range. So the town center can provide some arrow support. There's no extra town center right now for blue. So the longer the game goes on, the better yellow will be off. And especially things that can chapel, he doesn't have to worry about spending any money on the resource uh, upgrades. He doesn't really need wear barrel as well. Wear barrel is best for movement speed. Increased carry capacity about 5%. He already has plus 40% uh, being Holy Rome Empire. Does lose a villager there. Does lose a long bowman there. Right now the village counts 41 to 34. Let's get some hits there. Looks like uh, yellow is a pop cap, so he needs to pull out some more housing. And now we do have. Looks like some more housing is being built. And some of these uh, archers are getting hit by the longbowmen. We do have the Pierce Armor and Pierce Damage for being researched for English. Pierce Damage has already been researched. Pierce Armor is on the way. Yellow has gone for his Pierce Armor, now going for marching drills. More early man arms being pulled out on the field. Martian drill is almost complete. The Apache throws some arrows onto these villagers now. And there's a very, very large number of longbowmen here. 19. There is a handful of mana arms here, but there's more mana arms for blue. Currently, we have 9 plus 1, 7 plus 2. Blue has the mana arms uh, advantage. Does get a great volley there on that mana arms there. Taking them off like that is very important. The extra damage to the longbow is very important dealing with the extra uh, armor of these forces. This force may need to just push them forward, get some hits there on the villagers. Marching drills have been cleared, so these guys can move a little bit faster there. The blue man arms might have trouble moving into each other. Now we've got a very big choke point here. Some blues are for longbowmen starting going down. We've got 23 archers versus 22 for the longbowmen. One more on the build queue. And overall, it looks like blues, the yellow is getting whittled down. Blues man arms are still quite healthy. And right now, the March and drills onto these little archers that are giving these guys a very good movement speed here. Able to really pursue those archers while the man arms cannot keep up with these uh, yellow archers. 
And right now, Yellow's Archer could be in just general attack to move forward. We have more mana arms to reinforce to engage the mana arms, but Blue has a significant number of mana arms here. Some of these mana arms need some damage there. Long Bowman's trying to fall on back. The archers may need to fall back to help engage these men arms. But right now, those archers do only five damage, so the four pierce armor of the mana, early mana arms will make it so that these arrows will do one damage each. The town center arrows are still firing, they do two damage each. Long Bowman do pick up a villager there. The villager count is largely even out. Blue got a lot of villager kills there. And Arms are trying to pursue the yellow archers. Most of the longbowmen numbers have the window down, but he's doing a good job reinforcing them. In fact, he has more longbowmen than his opponent has archers. Akin Chapel is still reaching out to these villagers there. But when the villagers do go down, archers' arrows are raining on in. But as mentioned earlier, they have no real damage output against them. Yellow needs more mana arms. Uh, even then, the higher damage I'll put from these long bones are still posing as threat. Ooh, sorry for that lag spike. Not sure what happened there. I did restart my computer before I started streaming, so the VRAM, all the RAM, should be cleared out. That's my first report to the blacksmith. He's going for pure damage, which will be important to help wood away against those mana arms. And some of these villagers are going to hit as well. Blue now has a superior number of villagers, even though Yellow does have the two town centers. He, Yellow has lost a significant number of these villagers. Just haven't been able to deal with these uh, long bowmen all too well. Long bowmen can be very oppressive in the early game. And he can be, and he can also protect them with either mana arms or spearmen, which can counter all the various assets. In fact, mana arms are still effective, more effective, or more effective on one-on-one -on -one gates than all horsemen. Get some volleys there. Yellow's archers are running away. They, of course, have more mobility. Some of these yellow villagers are starting to go in down. Got some towns and arrows onto these longbowmen. Now it's turn to clean up these mana arms now. Yellow's have the plus one damage there, so now these arrows do two damage each. And yellow does have mana arms here. Blue's mana arms are still doing some problem. These longbowmen are being cleaned on up. These villagers with a uh, deer have been spotted there. A number of these villagers have gone down. Yellow is significantly low on villagers. He is building villagers, so he's been maintaining that up. And arms have now engaged the long bowmen. Makes up some of these long bowmen as well. Now the mana arms are being cleaned on up. And yet, Blue has a superior army on the field. Yellow has lost a significant number of villagers. At this point in time, he may need to get some outposts everywhere. Because outposts with emergency repairs is one of his strong suits in being defensive. He may just want to go... Yeah, mana arms are expensive, and the longbowmen have enough damage to pose a threat to those mana arms. Does, does get some damage there. Some of these longbowmen not being overran. We've got some now... Some better rams being put on the field. Yells having more messing more than mana arms is good. Longbone right now has 7 damage. These mana arms only have 4 pierce armor, so those same 3 damage per arrow. I suppose these archers dealing 2 damage per arrow. And that extra damage does really make a difference. After all, that is a 50% more damage compared to his opponent's counterpart. Versus mana arms, at least. Looks like Blue's now eyeing for melee armor. That is going to pose a massive threat. The mana arms right now do 10 damage, while Blue's mana arms is doing 11 damage and soon have 4 pierce armor, or pack armor. Got now these pair of banner hands push away forward as well. The villager count's still in favor of Blue. Blue's now pushing forward as well, trying to deal with these banner hands with the mana arms. 
something scares him inside the town center. Throwing his own parts inside the town center is not half bad because it has about the same damage output. And arms trying to dance away. Batting rounds. Do we got the mercy repair there onto the town center? Man arms trying to close this, trying to gauge the opposing mana arms. Got one mana arm over here, getting out the number. The yellow looks like it's version repair should almost be off uh, duration. Those mana arms starting on forward as well. And there we go, merge repairs have been brought down, and now we do have the town center. It has been set ablaze. I believe it has some garrison of air archers. I'm not sure where some other archers went. Yep, there's the archers abandoning the town center now. And yellow has a still a lesser number of villagers. He's he was killed off a large number of them. Oh, sorry, I just saw your YouTube comment. Uh pretty much anything RTS. If you have a replay from another RTS, go and just send me a uh, email in my uh, Gmail in the description and I will take a look at the replay. All of that request is you just don't send replays new versus AI. We have these archers backing on off, mana arms, yellow is just being outnumbered, and with the lack of second towns have now his all of his big advantages are just gone. So the Akin Chapel still provides some excellent resource space. And we'll have another house there. Not sure it's a good time for a house. He has plenty of population space there. Emergency repairs have been activated. Towers firing away, gaining some arrows onto these long bowmen. Some of these mana arms are starting to go on down. Still a large number of mana arms here. Batteram still pose a massive threat there. Eight pillars are currently idle. And now the villager have popped on out, and I am to torch down that battery ram. A long bow in the region, but still got one of those villagers now. Got some kills there onto the long bowmen. And now that tower has gone down, some of these villagers are being picked on off, and yellow goes back to the game now. This is Adam Grade saying thank you for watching, and on to next replay.